Louis. Everyone's whispering. I'll bring Louis in. What? Louis here. Oh my God. He'll always bring Louis in. Let's say hi to Louis Anderson. Yeah, you can't this go wrong. Very, very, very cool. Louis Anderson. Yeah, you can't go wrong. What, Roland? Hello, no, he's making the cutting sound. Oh, so, well, oh there's Louis. Louis, Louis. I was gonna sing the Louis song. Good to see you. Nice like Hey, Louis. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Louis Anderson. What's going on, buddy? First time. I've never met you before. No. No. Come over and shake your hand. <laughs> Let's go for the hug. Yeah, no, he's yeah, one of the nice. Yes, you're, you're meet one of the nicest guys and one of the funniest people in the world. How are you? Great, Louis Anderson. It's okay. early, huh, Lou? That's all right, you know, relative. Right? It's I went relative. To bed at eight last night. Oh, you did. Uh -huh. You got a you got a nice uh, night's sleep. Uh, Jimmy did not. Hey, Jimmy was with. Down for one notch, will you? Are you are you good at that's that going to bed at a decent? Job. Are you are you good at that going to bed at a decent hour when you have to? I I as you get older. That's it. That's it. As you get older. All right. Fuck. Can you your arms? Into your arms. Mars is uh, getting <laughs> Louis. Who's this for? Some giraffe? <laughs> what the fuck is this? I hate Did him. Did my dad do this? He's pointing at the microphone <laughs> stands too long and it's oh, right I'm in your sorry. face. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it's... this on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. That's perfect. This is the good yeah. stuff. Yeah, this is the only stuff. This is the good stuff. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> when you guys don't know you're on the air, that, that's when we get the good stuff. Is it? Uh, yeah. Sometimes. You're right. So you went to bed early last I'm night. Not because of I got... I got... Uh, you know, I was flying, mm -hmm. and I got in, and I went, oh, I'm going to lay down. And then that was it. No, I got up once and went, I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so hungry. <laughs> Is this room service? What'd you have? Uh, bad stuff. <laughs> I had the, uh, the blue cheese. Oh, nice. nice burger. Yeah, mm. that's one of my favorites. With smoked bacon. I said, hey, I don't want smoked bacon. Because after 60, you don't want anything smoked. No? Well, All right. some things. But you don't want, I can't eat, I, for some reason, like my whole life, Yeah. barbecue or smoked or mesquite. Yeah. I must like. be part Cherokee because I can't eat it. Oh. Because the Cherokees. I don't know. Thank you. What's it do to you? I was going to say. You just made that shit up. I was, 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 was about to challenge <laughs> my native friends upset. <laughs> just made, I would think it was more of a Minnesota thing. Yeah. Or more of a, you yeah, know. It's probably more Swedish. <laughs> yeah. it probably be yeah. that. Why would I believe he's part Cherokee? He's fucking, <laughs> <laughs> looks like Ricky Schroeder. <laughs> <laughs> he just made that up. I love it. No, I, well, you know. I absolutely love it. We're looking at a picture of uh, you with uh, Ronald Reagan. Wow. Yeah. And Nancy, yeah. Yeah. Wow, from back in the day. You know that? I was so, and you know, I'm a Democrat from Minnesota. Hubert Humphrey Democrat from the 1800s. And, you know, I went in there and I said, well, I'm going to take my mom to the White House. Hell that yeah. That was the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Grew up in the projects. I said, I'm going to take my mom to the White House. So what? He's a Republican. I shit you. Yeah, because that's how you feel. Absolutely. No, you know, hell when you're yeah. a Democrat, you think, should I go there? Of course you should go to the White Fuck House. Yeah, Everywhere. You don't yeah. think that, though. You don't really. Know. Mm -hmm. Democrats. If I had a chance a, to go to the White you House. You pause for, I'm totally with you. You do pause. You totally, yeah. totally pause. Poor what, people. When was the last time pause. you were at the White House? No, no, what are you but, talking about? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, what, look at this. Vic Kenley trying to relate to Louis Anderson's White yeah, House story. I've been, about, I've been we, the Carter in, administration. In the, the Clinton in the, administration. In defense, though, okay. there was no social media. So there was no reason to get a picture. Like, I think people now live. For a picture, yeah, for I, a yeah. photo, well, well, like honestly, like I could be, like people would, you know, they light up when they see you. Oh, my post for today. Oh yeah, right. you know uh, what I mean. Yeah, that yeah. kind of stuff, not with me necessarily, but who? No, no, no with you, yeah. Louie. Come no, on, but yeah. you know what I mean. It's it's a weird thing. You made it to that point. Anyways, no. it was great to bring my mom to the White House. Yeah, and you know she loved it. There. How'd they treat you? How how were they when oh, you they met them? Oh, they were great. They were great. Yeah, but you move along. 
It's like my meet and greet. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Let's keep Let's the line go. going. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> keep don't, moving. Don't, no hugging. Yeah. <laughs> Use the hand sanitizer. <laughs> I got a step and repeat. I got, step a, and repeat. Step and repeat. I got a blue cheeseburger to, to <laughs> yeah. order. Move and it you along. Know, you know what they call it in the military? Grin and grip. Grin and grip, which is my yeah. favorite thing. Yeah. Grin and grip. Yeah, yeah. Grin and grip. I, I got a picture with uh, Clinton. It made my day. It made my year just to have a picture with the president. I've got yeah. the first. I've got the first Bush, uh, George Forty One. <laughs> and so I, there's one Jimmy, you got a picture thing. with uh, President, right? I do. Donald Trump. He and I took the <laughs> phone. <laughs> there you go. Sure. There's, I, that's there, wonderful. There's mine with Clint. Oh, yeah. that's so nice. Where were you guys at sandals? Well, it was at a weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be sh- in the jacuzzi. I've got <laughs> two southern girls I'm going to bring over. And then the girls don't show up and it's just them in the jacuzzi. Him, yeah. Fair enough. Uh, Put this on. <laughs> I had a... Notice I had to be a douche in this picture and put my stupid sunglasses on. Why would you did do you, that? You're... Did you put them on or did you have them? I put them on thinking no. I'd be. Oh my God. Really? I'm embarrassed to say that I could have I could have yeah. skated on this, but I just threw myself nice. under the bus. Why'd but... you put them on? <laughs> to, 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 <laughs> to have a cool. look. I'm, an, I'm an idiot. You wanted to have a look, he said. I'm I an get idiot. That. I get that, though. I mean, you know, we all do those dumb things, you know? And but... you notice the bad crop job on the picture because I have an X in the X in the photo. Uh, it drives yeah, me nuts. Oh. I can't. I can't. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was Hillary. Him and Bill were really uncomfortable <laughs> next to each other. And then the ex knew someday I would I would try to crop Is that her out. You, so you, Jimmy, right on the side there? Oh no, I would have no, fucking no, muscled both of them yeah, out yeah. for that photo. And then my ex is uh, in there in such a way as I can't even crop her out because she leaned into the photo. Yeah, well, you know, that's Clinton holding her tight too, though. Yeah, yeah probably yeah, a little yeah, bit of. Probably now who is this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what's your name? Howdy, Louis. What's your the name? best part of this story it was about uh, twelve years ago. Uh huh. A cop recognized me. I had no camera because it wasn't before. It was before you had the camera on oh, your phone. Right, right, right. And I go, he goes, you want to meet Clint? He's coming out this side door, and he and they were holding everyone else back. And I go, I don't have a camera. So he opens up his trunk. He's one of those canine officers. Yeah. And he finds a disposable camera with dog oh. hair on. He goes, I don't know, this might work. And I'm like, are you kidding me? And it, long story short, it did work. You know, I lucked out. I love the fabulous. disposable I lucked camera. Out. That's it was cr- good. Yeah, right? I had one. I had three in my glove compartment. Because I was a kid from Minnesota, and so when I moved to to Hollywood, I had those cameras. Cause, and that's why I have Robin and you know all right. Eddie and all those people who I didn't know until later. But I have those pictures, and because I I was a fan, I'm a fan of show business. You're one of the funniest ch- comedies ever, fucking coming to America. I mean, that's Thanks. such a great mm-hmm. funny film. You're in the Sam Jackson scene. Yeah, I am. And who knew? And nobody knew who Sam was at the time. He was out on parole. And um, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Once again, we all paused. Yes. <laughs> How sad are we that we're like, yeah, of course he'd be out. We're very, we're very, we're very trusting <laughs> boys. <laughs> you could molest all of us, Louis. I'd love to. <laughs> he's gotten us every time. Every time he's gotten us every single time. But, but we're bad. We just assume, yeah, of course Sam Jackson would be out on parole. <laughs> no, well, you know, he always starts out those interviews in those in-depth things, you know, that he had problems. And yeah, he was lucky to be where he's at. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Didn't he? Yeah, he, he, had, he had some bad addiction problems or whatever. Uh, he was with the Black Panthers, I think, when he was younger. He was really interesting. Yeah, guy. He, I mean, it was. And you know, in that scene, you know, John Landis. Mm. Um, you know, I I came out to Hollywood or New York, and had dinner with him before the show, because he was that kind of director who wanted to meet everybody who he didn't, I guess, you know, uh, hire for it, and uh, and then when he shot it. I wasn't there when he said "fat boy." Oh wow! So that was really like when I first, when I saw the screening, and Sam Jackson says "fat ass" or "fat boy." Right. Do you remember what it was? "Fat boy." I, I want to say "fat." I think it is "fat boy." I haven't seen the movie in a yeah. bunch yeah. of years, but I think it's "fat boy." Yeah. Wow, that's oh. So were you surprised at the screening? Like, yeah, because I was. I'm a. You know, I was at that point, and and still am to some degree a Minnesotan. You know, where I'm just dumb. Right. <laughs> right. I don't mean it, but I'm a Midwesterner. I'm gullible. Like I'm, I'm Alabama. Like, I'm, I'm right. Yeah. Preaching to the choir. Yeah. I'm gullible. I'm gullible in those situations. But I thought, 
<laughs> is this the cough button I missed? It, you know, what, I we like coughing it. right into the mic. Yeah, yeah. keep it I real. Think it, yeah, then it's really real. Isn't I don't it? care. We don't no care. One does We're not care. professional broadcasters. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> no, I, I, so I'll be right back. I after truly this. mean that. We're guess <laughs> right. if you can guess eight numbers, you're going to win a billion yeah. dollars. Yeah. <laughs> More with Louis Anderson. Yes. After these We're messages. raffling off a seat with a fist on it. Call it now. <laughs> Jimmy, uh, that's what the fister is. <laughs> what were you, so what were you saying about? So um, I was saying that you know I didn't know that I didn't like know that there would be another shot of him from that angle oh. that they would use different words, and that was how nice that Landis was that he didn't want to hurt my feelings. Oh, cool! I thought that was kind of yeah. cool. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. very cool. And he... Eddie was really nice during that whole thing. Yeah. It was great. That's why I really learned about fame. Oh, really? Through Eddie yeah, Murphy? We're on, yeah, we're on Queens Boulevard, where the McDowell's was, right? And there were 5,000 people wow. outside this fence. Somebody had fenced it then, said, we better fence this. So we're in there. Eddie's got a bus. And every time the bus door opened, where he his dressing room was, the fence would bow in. From people pushing forward. Oh, and I would wow. go, oh my God. He's famous. He's the most famous person I've been around. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's real fame right there. Yeah, that's super fame. On, uh, Jimmy talks highly of you over the years. I know, he's very sweet to me. Well, I, Louis I did him a life. favor, right? I did a solid. No, you were the Santa Monica Pier, Louis Anderson show. Uh, it was my first real TV. I had the Friday night videos, but this was like much more legit show. And um, I was doing a seven-minute warm-up for Louis' show the next night, and fucking that was where Di I met Dice at the Comedy Store. Wow. And then, uh, you know, Dice takes me on tour with him, and then he gets me on the radio show in 2000, but that was all because of you. I think you said, Louis can Anderson. I meet Dice, didn't you? Well, Patty Rossborough, the next oh. night we talked, we were bragging, we met Dice, me and Jim Florentine. Yeah. And uh, Patty was your warm-up comic, yeah. and she knew Andrew well. Patty, nice. Yeah, yeah. Patty's yeah. fabulous. Yeah. yeah, she is. I haven't seen her in years. I just saw her at the comic strip uh, like a month ago or so. Yeah, she's just she's. Am out I there saying her name wrong? Patty? No, no, Patty Rossborough. Wait, from Boston? I just I just know Patty Ross first names mostly. Patty Ross, Patty, Patty, Patty Ross, Ross. Patty and there's Patty Ross. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, I, I know Patty. Both Patty Ross is hilarious too. Very, I know, but I just threw different letters on her name. I'm an asshole, and I spoiled the story. Yeah. But anyway, no, I love Louis did, Anderson. Did, uh, thanks. He and you a did a great break. thing on there, right? I think that, so. Aren't you always? Isn't it timing again with uh, with all comedy? You know, you're in the right place. Yeah. You know, not everybody would have fit with Dice. You fit with him, so that's a that's a hard fit. I don't think very many people fit in that that category. Yeah, I mean, he's a you, you know him well. He's a yeah. he's a very particular type of a gentleman. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. think. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. You think? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had. Oh my yeah. God. We saw Louis in Vegas a couple times. We were walking through the casino, and they would just stop and chat. He loves you, man. Yeah, I love Dice. You know, I saw Dice when. He was doing the Grease Lightning. That oh, wow. was his ending to his show. Yeah. He would do tra Travolta. Oh, yeah. He loves his Travolta. And, and do Grease Lightning. Yeah. And we would go, what is he doing? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Dice, what are you doing? <laughs> and then, of course, he's doing stadiums next. Mm -hmm. And I go, and you know me. I want to know how much money people make. Ah. I don't know why. Because I'm a Midwesterner. We're nosy. And I happened to ask somebody. And they said, I think he's, uh, I think he made $24 million on that tour, Louis. What? Wow. And I just did that. What? Do you ask people what they make? Yeah. Good I don't ask them. I ask people who know them. <laughs> <laughs> to this day, yeah, though? Even, yeah, always. To this day, always. Uh, always. Here's what I asked uh, <laughs> recently. <laughs> um, I know somebody who knows uh, Larry the Cable Guy, right? Who's da Dan. Whitney. Yeah, 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 Dan Whitney. And... Um, and I love all people who are successful. You know, I'm just happy for them. I'm not, a, <laughs> I'm not that person who goes, damn it, why can't I be that guy? And I said, what do you think he makes per year? What do you think? Do you uh, think at his best year ever, what do you think he makes? I'm going to guess his best year. Best year ever. Maybe he That's pulled different. In. Yeah, you got to count. Oh, well, what do you mean? He was in cars. Count? No, I'm one. Uh, well, nah. that's that Pixar money. Uh, cars, cars, too. I'm thinking of touring mostly. You go, Let's okay. go with touring. 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 I'm okay. going to guess 10 million. That yeah. would be my I'm, guess. Nah, I'm I'd, go, I'd go 30 or 40. Yeah. I'm going 20. I'm yeah. going to split the difference. 
Oh man, else? he's still looking around for guests. <laughs> no, yeah. That means 50. we're it's probably off. fifty. <laughs> that means we're off if he's looking around for more. Well, it could be less. What guess. would be the most you would think? A hundred. Ah, oh, jeez. Can't yeah. be that much. No, can't it's be not that. Can't be hundred million. Not. Maybe fifty. Seventy-two. Seventy-two million. <laughs> 72 million <laughs> that's what somebody what? told me. Now, Dan, <laughs> Dan, I'm, I'm just saying that's. What, so, this can't hurt you. Oh, that... Somebody told me seventy-two million. Oh my god. And so I just said. Well, he's got his own I potato chip. Called line. my manager immediately and go, "Why am I not making <laughs> exactly. twelve million <laughs> right. touring? Mm. Seventy-two million. You know what million. I mean? You just figure out one six. <laughs> just yeah. think like of, that. Well, no, just the idea. Like You're, I can't do seventy-two. Yeah. But, and I wouldn't do 22, but what about 12? I wouldn't do 12 either, but well, I wanted to just act like that's I funny. could. Vin, you know him a little bit. I know him. I was at his house in December. You know, Does he have a $72 million house? Well, Trailer? In, the, in, the, in Nebraska, you can own three quarters ah, of the state true. for $72 million. But he's the nicest he's guy. The that's what guy they always the follow it up with. He's yeah. a lovely guy. and changed a bit. He still you know likes I, the jokes. He yeah. still likes to write jokes but and do think jokes. Think about he's that, almost, though. Yeah. He's, they always had that at the end of $72 million, but he's so nice. Yeah. But he's he's so so nice. Nice. I don't care what he is. After, <laughs> but he's always, he is really nice. Anyway. That's why he's doing these fucking Prilosec commercials. He probably has acid reflux just thinking about losing his money. Yeah. So, so I'm trying to figure out who has ever made more. Touring? Um, comic Russell touring? Russell Peters, no, not yeah, even maybe, more than that. Maybe. I not 72. Know, yeah. Not 72. Kevin yeah. Hart, not more than and 72. And you know, Dan, call us up if we're off. And just give us, <laughs> give us a number, because we would love it. Maybe he's that's the rumor he started. If that's way higher, he's not going to tell you that. I'll, no. go say, I'll, go I'll, I'll text take him on the break. I'll text him on the break. Let's see what see he if I can get an answer. I'll see, <laughs> just say, hey, we're just I'll kicking around. Him, text him right now. Most, I don't have my phone in here with him. But if it's Louie, uh, if it's Louie, he will answer if he knows it's Louie. say Louie Anderson was speculating across two continents. On how much money you're making. What you made, 72 million. If Rome's listening down the hall, try to get him on the phone. Try to get... Larry on the phone, but and he, we he's love and, don't, and they all comes from a loving place. Uh, no, yeah, he's, no. he's very nice. I'm sure he's in the back. He comes 20, in here 40, from 60, time to time. He's 80. All right. No, I love Whitney. Hey, uh, so uh, who would be second? Well, we won't go into this. Well, but, you know, second, we can. Um, just second. Just se- who's going to be second? I would love to. I don't know what. Eddie, I mean, Dice with the 24 has got to be in there. Maybe no. Kevin Hart made I think 27 million last oh, year. Oh, he did. Okay. Yeah, these guys make a lot of money. About, now. Uh, they're all doing arenas. Jeff Jeff Dunham makes a lot of money with Jeff Dunham. He makes a shitload of money oh, with the puppets. Oh, I think that, yeah. yeah, but does he split it with them? <laughs> <laughs> he, the, jal- the jalapeno on the stick, no. Yeah. But, but Walter, Ackman, yeah, 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 whatever. Ackman, yeah, Ackman, you know. yeah. And he sells those puppets so after the I don't show. Even know. He's got puppet money. I don't really. even know. He's got puppet money. He's got puppet money. Yeah, he may, uh, you gotta do I know he is. sold almost a million dollars worth of puppets. Uh, a million, I mean, not a million dollars. He sold almost a million tickets. It's something last crazy. Year. 900 yeah. some thousand. Last year? I thought it was last year. Wow, Louis really uh, Googling. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you can't. No, I'm, I'm telling you. The, the one thing that interests me is the one thing that interests me is how alive and well comedy is. And, you know, and to see that people can, you know, do that kind of right. number. Yeah, it's having a good run right now. Yeah. Did you ever have a, a toy or anything like that? You had a cartoon show. I had cartoon, but, you know, the toys were all... <clears throat> the action figure, in my case, was at McDonald's. Oh, really? You know what I mean? I was the fat kid on a right. little bike, and, you know, it wasn't like... It wasn't going to sell. <laughs> you know what I mean? It wasn't going to sell. I mean, hey, Mom, give me the fat kid on a bike. As opposed to, give me the monster that destroys the world. Ah, uh, wow. I'm, no, I'm very fortunate. I have a great life, and I'm still working, and I'm having a ball. Speaking, is, of, oh. speaking of still working, this Baskets uh, show is amazing. Yeah? I love it. Thank you. It's on FX. Uh, I'm a little behind. Uh, Me you're, too. You're in, the, you're in the coma right now. <laughs> I am. You're in the coma. Oh. So I, oh, I haven't I gotten got, that far. Oh, sorry, Jim. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, but come on. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm out. I haven't seen it yet. I'm, I'm clear. Was that bad to say? No, I haven't seen it yet. Oh, oh, that was kind of bad to say. Oh, sorry, well, he's sorry. obviously alive like because he's honesty. right here. No, I'm going to say it. Was that bad to say? That's I'll a couple weeks ago. No, no, no. Because I think the season finale is coming out. Thursday. Yeah, it ends. That's what I'm going to I'll get caught up. We only have two episodes left. You're so good in this. You know, it's a That's funny what I've been thing. hearing. I, it's amazing. I when I see that picture right there that you put up, that's not me in my head. You know, I don't think like, hey, that's me. 
because when I go in there, something happens. You know, I get in there and I put the clothes on so I don't screw up the wig. I put the clothes on first. Sure. Yeah. It's, it, which is a weird process. You're putting these women's clothes on. Mm -hmm. And I would tell you if I ever liked women's clothes, I'm not, a, wouldn't be ashamed of that. Yeah. But I never went in my mom's thing and went, ooh, look at this. Right. You know what I mean? And put it on. I was just trying to get smaller clothes to get on. You know, <laughs> I can't know if I could just get a pair of jeans on. Well, how far um, are you committing with the putting on the clothes? You got um, some. You got some panties on underneath there, just to. I think I'm a commando under there. Commando. Oh, oh, yeah. All right, low way. Dingleberry. That's a, <laughs> that's a great picture. Two green grapes. That is a, that, that's just so good. It looks like Caroline Ray gained a thousand pounds. <laughs> a thousand? Oh, I'm joking. Come on. No, it's okay. I like that you said it. She put on 25. But <laughs> yeah. Louis, so, I, you know, so I just put that on and then put the wig on and I made everyone call me Christine. Right. Good. I got to say, when we first heard. Uh, I heard Louis is, you know, playing a um, a mother or whatever in, in baskets. That was the reason I started watching the show. I'm like, wait, I got to see this. It doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. And then I saw it. I'm like, wow, is he killing it? You're I, killing yeah. it? I had not heard it. I literally just saw it. Mm -hmm. And then there you were in the kitchen. I'm like, oh, this. And not talking like a woman, just being you. It was so great. You know, it was really a big choice, Jonathan Kreisel and Zach and Jonathan, who, you know, Portlandia. Yeah. And Saturday Night Live, but just we never even really discussed the voice. We never, nobody had any intention of changing the voice. Yeah, you didn't really change it at all. Just I, maybe it is subtly, a, maybe a tiny bit. You yeah. know what it is? Um, hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there it's it is. just that little tiny thing. <laughs> right. That I stole from my mom. Okay. So my mom was a really great person, and. Uh, Really sweet and looks a lot, you know, I look a lot like her. Yeah. And so she would always add to everything and embellish everything because mm -hmm. we were poor. So she had to make something good out of being poor. Right. When you're poor, you have to make something good out of being, here's some radishes, Louie, mm -hmm. and look at this little thing called a salt dip. <laughs> <laughs> that you I dunk, know that one. That you dunk the radishes in. Oh. Well, we've got salt dip. <laughs> you <laughs> yes, know, and so is. that's the that's what I brought to the character. Just like the scene with the DeSante, I was looking at it and thinking of my mom and going, oh, so robust. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was looking for something my mom would enhance the word, the water. Yeah. I mean, you know, she was that kind of person who... Tried to bring us more. She was a really great person. It looks like you guys do a lot of improv in this show. Is it true? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. We we'll keep the script in mind because the writers are off weeping on the side. So. <laughs> Jesus, is there Come any on. chance you could get some of it? Because <laughs> <laughs> everybody's written stuff and then they don't, you know, like I didn't ever understand writers until I did a sitcom and they were there. And when you said their line during the read through, mm. they would chortle in a big laugh yeah and you i didn't get it at first i go come on you know this we get it you wrote it yeah. you know because comics are not no they would never laugh at their own yeah. thing. <laughs> well there's a lot of funny people in this so obviously you got to let them improv yeah. a little but they bit. have to laugh at the read through otherwise the network is going to say change it so yeah yeah if, if it's you know killing. when you do a louis ck thing the network's not there for the read through oh no but i did something for hbo with him and they were there but yeah. if it did bomb he would just fix it but oh, yeah, he no, would. but louis. you know isn't it true that louis has this great and zach and those guys we did this it was almost like a covert operation mm. when we did the pilot really yeah it was like we flew in and under the cover of night <laughs> we shot this pilot a year before i think it was wow did you really yeah and then you know he shot it for almost no money because i got nothing so i don't know what <laughs> 72, no money. Almost 72 million yeah i've got 72 million <laughs> so um I, and I shouldn't comp I shouldn't have said that. I got, I'm just kidding, Louis. Oh, he knows. Yeah, it's all good. You think he's listening? I know. Yeah, every morning. Oh, he comes in. Yeah. Oh, that's so great. Um, I've never met him, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. It's uneventful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's great. How about how much he does? Uh, well, he's got to be on. Well, he's got to be on the comedy list of uh, comedian list of making a lot of I money too. Louis. Yeah, Jesus. And yeah. Seinfeld's got to be on that list. Yeah, oh, that was, uh, now that I had a minute or now two wait to a think about Seinfeld. It. You know, that's different. Certainly. though. That's TV money. That's not. Larry doesn't have a TV deal like that. Right. Sure. Larry doesn't have syndication well, Seinf money. Seinfeld's this is money that people driving up 
in American cars are paying to get in to see him. Yeah. Well, Seinfeld's now doing that Beacon run. He's yeah, camping. he's there for like a month or he's something. He's camping out at the Beacon. Oh, Good good. I'm him. happy for camping him. Camping out at yeah. the Beacon Theater, doing a couple shows a month, uh, right? Something a residency. Like a, a, yeah, a little local residency. Back to Baskets, the yeah. scene in Costco is probably my favorite scene of the whole series. Yeah? Yeah, because I, I can relate to that. I got relatives down there in uh, Philly, and they can't wait to bring me to Sam's Club and show me everything that's going yeah. on. And in Baskets, you're, you're wandering around Costco just so happy with everything that you could get in there. It's just one of the, you know, like uh, one of the other things. We had a store called the Gem Store, G-E-M, something, something membership, I think. Yeah. And it was a big store, and it was a very similar thing in, in St. Paul, in Highway 61. You always remember weird stuff, don't mm -hmm. you? Mm -hmm. Anyways, we'd go there, and my mom would go, look at that. <laughs> She'd whisper no, sure. like, we're, yeah. "Look at that! <laughs> That's a case of Miracle Whip. <laughs> you can just get a case, case. Louie. Right. Yeah, and that that was the. Uh, and you guys worked that into baskets, and it, no, it they had they. they, oh, they, they you they, know what, Jonathan didn't want. Um, I felt like you improv that with, whole scene, but. Um, I think we, I, I am probably the walking and looking and yeah. and grabbing the sweatshirt. Yeah, and, which you're wearing. Yeah, which today. is is my, you know, like, you, I think this was, I don't think they sell this sweatshirt, but they gave it to us as a wrap, the production team, nice. in, a, in a wire basket. I thought it was really, yeah. at first, I'm so dumb, I don't get it. I go, why is it in this basket? <laughs> <laughs> I go, why, why are they putting my shirt in a basket? And they go, the show's baskets. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, that's right. <laughs> okay. oh, someone has a question about uh, the first episode of Baskets. This is a pretty good question. Let's say hi to Josh in Detroit. We got Louie Anderson in the studio. Go hi, ahead, Josh. Josh. Hey, Louie. Uh, the, one of the funniest scenes I've ever seen in the first episode was when you took that long drink of that water bottle and it looked like you almost choked on it and you spit it out and I think you said something like, Boy, <laughs> that the spot. And I was just wondering if that was, you know, if you expect that to get in or that was outtake or was that a one-shot thing or how did that work? Um. <clears throat> I rewound that scene and watched it. I'm still it. choking him from it. <laughs> <laughs> you, who rewound it? I did. Jim. It was so funny. So I was trying to down that thing. A whole but I'm, bottle. I'm over 60. <clears throat> and I couldn't. And so I said, oh, this is coming out. <laughs> In my head. This is, and I spit it out. And then I just said, ooh. That was refreshing. <laughs> I was trying to save the scene. And if you really look, Zach is laughing in the big drink he's drinking. Yeah. If you really look there, you'll see him, I think. I just, my goal every time he was across from me or Martha, I tried to make him laugh. Right. That was my whole goal <laughs> yeah, through the whole show. Is he playing? He plays more than one character? He's playing he his twin, him and, uh, and his twin brother. Yeah. And where's, where's and he, plays it, he plays it so well that you you almost start thinking there's another actor there. And he's doesn't he though? Yeah, absolutely. And then there's scenes where they're in it together, right? And they have finally figured that out to to have uh, you know twins in, in the same scene played by the same person, making it look pretty damn real now. Is it southern? Is it because uh, I, I saw a trailer? Oh, it's Baker's California. Field. Okay, so yeah. white trash California. Yeah, <laughs> it's the same south thing. of California. Yeah, same thing. Absolutely. Yeah. There's no accent. But oh, here it goes. And you could see Zach. Oh, We're here. going back to the. Hold on. Let me put this up. Watch, watch that, watch that. Oh, mm. yeah. You can see the corner. Of, yeah, just down. the corner. I thought I saw the corner of his mouth. A little yeah. grin, just yeah. a little grin. Yeah. He's happy. And Martha's <laughs> dying right there, but can't. Let yeah. me see that one more. That's so awesome. Play it all the way to the end. Oh, mm. <laughs> I hit the spot. <laughs> Louis, that's that made great. Me laugh very hard. That is great. That, <laughs> Zach is amazing in this. Isn't he a great? He, you know, and he's so humble. Really? Have you ever met him? Uh, no, we've never yeah, had him my on. God, he's so, Jimmy knows him, but yeah, yeah we got to so get him humble, on. right? Yeah, he's, he's he said like I just go. He's so nice. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. he meets everybody, he talks to everybody, and you know I'm I'm appreciative of that. Yeah. I just think this is a big this is a big star that is just right hobnobbing. Yeah, just treats people well. Yeah, we, treats people well. And we're going to have Martha in in a few minutes from Baskets. <clears throat> today? Yeah, she's going to be in in a few minutes. She I, got I, in today? I thought you guys knew. I did. Oh, I'm yeah, glad. Well, I no, heard. I thought Louie knew. No, I heard she was. I thought yeah, she, I hope you stick she around. told me another day. 
No, I, I believe she's going to be here in a few minutes. I she's can't wait. wonderful I'm, in baskets. I'm so, in, I live for Martha. So she's dry. working for me this weekend. Is she a she's good old, comic? She, we're not working for me, but, I mean, the, Caroline's, Caroline's right. paying her. I she, hope. I it, hope I don't have to pay her. Doesn't <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. You're working, uh, by the way, Caroline's, let's just plug this, too. Tomorrow it's like the 30th Saturday. anniversary of your first time working there. Are you oh, coming down? Are you going to come I down? I fly to uh, uh, Portland geez. tomorrow. I would love to come see you. Oh, are you going to Portland? Yeah, yeah but there... I'd rather come see you. Yeah, right. No, but I was hoping you'd do a set. I, I absolutely. Oh, did uh, they? Are they? Oh, you know what? They asked me to do a set because they're screening something, right? Or, or we're whatever. screening uh, baskets finale. Nice. So well, when are you screening it? Stick around and watch it with Martha and I. What night are you screening it? Thursday. Oh, it is Thursday. Finale, yeah, because yeah. I will be out of town. They asked me about well, that, and I would love bad. to. That would have been fun, wouldn't it? Yeah, and you, you probably first did Caroline's at the Seaport, right? When it was back. I did. I, th I think it was like 1901. It was really... <laughs> Wasn't when was that? Because I was trying to. Is it well, 20? They 30 moved, years ago. They moved Midtown about 93, I think. So it would have been. Yeah. It would have been in the late 80s when they were down. Late the 80s, Seaport. early 90s, yeah, maybe. Yeah, 89. Uh, well, that's a great night. Louis Anderson at Caroline's, and then you get to see the season finale of Baskets this Thursday. And uh, Martha, very funny lady. Who by the way, I just uh, was told is not coming in today. Uh, it's Roland tomorrow, got, isn't it? Roland got his info wrong. It's what? tomorrow, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, see, yeah Roland knows. got his info Louis wrong. Knew. Louis knew. I love my Oh, doc. next Wednesday she's in. She's <laughs> not even in tomorrow. <laughs> How are you off by a week? <laughs> Keep changing it. How are you? It's November. <laughs> it's now. Remember, Louis, remember I said we're not professional broadcasters? Do you believe me? Now? We're off by a week. <laughs> a week. <laughs> what other job is it acceptable to be off by a week? You know, only in comedy, isn't it? <laughs> like, I've done that. I go... Am I there this week? Yeah. You're there today. Yeah. <laughs> I'm there today. I'm there today. <laughs> when do I leave? You yeah. should have left already. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, well, you're going to have to tell them that I'm going to have to start tomorrow. I was reading up on Martha, and Zach uh, pretty much picked her out of almost obscurity for baskets, right? You know, Zach picked everybody in the show, I think. Yeah, you but know what, no one really knew Martha before this yeah, show. Yeah, I think he just knew her as a comedian. Right, knew, yeah, that's how I knew her. I knew her from, yeah. And, and, then, and you said know, she would be perfect for this. And, they, and the, his French wife. She's an Italian singer from the Brazilian Girls. Oh, no kidding. They had a hit called uh, Pussy, 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 Marijuana Ooh. <laughs> during the uh, Bush. I know. it's. A, Ooh. Who doesn't want to say that? I was going to yeah. say at the wow. supper. Okay. Who doesn't want to say that during supper with your dad? <laughs> <laughs> what? Pussy, Pussy, <laughs> Marijuana. It's a song. It's only ah. two pussies, not three pussies. Well, I threw another pussy Pussy, in. Pussy, Let me Marijuana. Say, Let's see if it pops pussy, up. You, oh, you I know don't know. It? I just wanted to say it twice, yeah. but I, I think three is a, a little nicer. I do too. Pussy, I pussy, 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 marijuana. marijuana. Yeah. Their flow is better. Uh, yeah. We're looking for it. It's more I got lyrical. Pussy marijuana. Maybe this. She is can it. really sing, by the way. Is it Zach's real wife, or in, in, you talk about her, his wife on the show? His wife on the show. Oh, okay. His Stupid wife question that was. Yeah. His wife uh, in real life is very nice too, and she is from Canada. I don't think I know her. That's mandatory. The Canadians have to be nice. Isn't that part of their? I think part it of is. You know, like oh, I've had people in Canada say, "Why don't you follow me?" And I'll just put my arm out when you're supposed to turn. <laughs> and it's always into a cornfield. I go, I'm not turning. Where do I turn? I'm from Minnesota. I need a street. Can I get a street? Don't you hate when, you're, when you follow somebody oh, and the they're worst. wrong? Yeah. And you are a, just a fool? And you just go, You oh, feel helpless. So you, you are As they're making their yeah. U-turn in a field. It's a Polish train. Yeah, you hate them because they're a piece of shit who gave you the wrong directions, exactly. but you're grateful because they were generous enough to say, yeah, I'll yeah. show it's you. It's that double, it's that passive-aggressive thing. Oh, I hate you, but thank you <laughs> yeah. for, for trying. Thank you for trying. Thank the you for wasting is, my time. Uh, Brazilian Girls, the song is called Pussy. Can we, can we hear like and a just, couple seconds oh, of this? That's all right. You're down to one. Maybe you threw in the extra two pussies in marijuana. You're a good <laughs> egg, Louie. <laughs> you are a good egg. <laughs> Taking care of everybody. <laughs> It is three pussies. Yes, it is. Sitting here at the table. She caught you walking about in a frozen desert from the tip of the iceberg. She's actually good. Oh, yeah, she's great. She's a great person. You know, she sounds like Nana. Remember that 99 oh, yeah. Love Balloon? Yeah. Nice call, Jimmy. Yes. I agree. I was singing Bow Wow Wow. A little, uh, little Annabelle of the Wind. A little bit? That's oh, that's going to be in my head all day. Is it? Yeah. Yes. Oh, my God. 
And the video is her blacked out with her eyes and again oh, uh, across right. her breast okay. and across her. Uh, you yeah, can say it. Satellite radio. I know, I know I can say it. Oh, you're just it. keeping yeah. it nice and clean just today, to have Louis. Some fun. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Is that how it is every day, where you have to control every breath out of the people you're with? Uh, I suppose that's part of it after a while. Hey, can somebody talk to Jimmy about not just getting every laugh that's here? Yeah, say cunt. Go ahead. Yeah, I just want to hear Louis Anderson say cunt. There, cunt. there she is. Wow, look at that. Oh, she was actually nude on the stage. Oh, no, she wasn't. A bodysuit. God but she's got her what naughty. Very good, though, how they oh, did that. Am I right? That's yeah. lovely. Yeah, that's beautiful, mm -hmm. man. It leaves a little to the imagination. Yeah. I think people should, that's how that's we cool. should all be. Yeah, just a little, yes. bit, a little black bar covering. Because you know covering. what you're going to get then. You're going to, you know how big, you know everything. But she's, she's terrific. And she was lovely, and she never acted before. And she did a fantastic job in there. She just did it all. She was great. Yeah. Everyone's great in this baskets. It's, I'm amazed by people who just, Never acted before, and they show up and they do it right. It's, it's... And I think it's a it has a lot to do with um, the set, mm. the generosity, the and all the people on the crew were Portlandia. It's their crew. I think a oh, lot okay. of the people worked on that. And Jonathan's so generous. You never felt pressured one time by Jonathan. Mm. And what never. about what about Ernest Adams? Oh, who's he? I, he's great in this. He's an actor, but he is so fantastic. I feel like I've it. seen him in things over the years, I but I, I couldn't pinpoint. Oh, a, the a, older a, guy, right? A yeah. particular uh, yeah. role, but he is. He plays uh, Ernie, doesn't he? Does he play Ernie? No. Uh, uh, he plays the guy that owns the circus, or yeah, yeah he's uh, Ernie. Uh, he's the owner of oh, the the rodeo, bad. actually. Yeah, rodeo. Yeah, sorry, yes, Ernest saying. Adams. Yeah, Eddie. 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 Thank you. Yeah, I've seen that guy. Yes, but I wouldn't. I just looked. I Oh, you did. Yes, I did. But he's great in this. He really is. And, you know, those guys were in, they did those things at the rodeo that, and it was hot as could be, and they did it out at the ranch. I was in none of those things, so, but those days were killers for sure. people, you know, and he's not a young guy, so. Uh, right on. We got a guy, when he was a kid, he used to do Louie bits and got in, tr in tons of trouble. For what oh, bit? No, let's, yeah, Louie's wow. always been a relative. I don't know. Let's hear it. Alan in Georgia, go ahead. Hey, guys. Uh, yeah, I, I'm Louie's. I guess it was one of his HBO specials, I'm guessing maybe 30 years ago-ish, something like that. He used to do a bit, and I won't do it because I won't do it justice. No, well, uh, we don't know what, what was the bit, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah you got to do, it, do it, it, because we have to know which bit. From beginning to end, it do it. The, Can it you do the bit, bit though, for us, please? <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. life is really about just getting a chance. You're on Sirius. Yeah. I know. <laughs> so don't, big break. Listen, this could be something. You know, I'm looking for somebody... To do a tribute. <laughs> Gallagher 2? Yeah. You're going to go that route? Louis one and a half. Uh, <laughs> I, think, I think you were imitating your dad, and you used to say, uh, you used to say uh, God damn it, but you would use it in his voice, and it would be, God damn it. Yeah, that's and, true. Yeah. And I was probably 10 <clears throat> years old and would walk around saying that uh. and get in trouble. Uh, but that, to this day, Still gets reference uh, between my family and I. That and uh, the couple in Minnesota that had all the kids and no good. The Johnsons, one. yeah, yeah, which is ironically my last name. Oh, that's so funny. It's a very uncommon one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. the Johnsons but, are home. <laughs> Finally, found but another I, family named Johnson. God damn it! There it is. Yeah. Oh, well, of course there. It when is. you're ten and you say that though, and you're in a Catholic school, I would imagine. What school were you in? I was not at Catholic school, but I was Catholic, and uh, we used to have a uh, a uh, dryer that would buzz really loud. And I would walk around going, "Turn that goddamn thing off!" <laughs> <laughs> See, you're, you're in his life, Louis. You're in this man's life. That's so good. That's cool. <laughs> that makes me happy. Thank you so much. Are, are you Lasting watching? Effect. Are you watching yeah. baskets, Alan? I am. It's awesome. Yeah, I love yeah, it. Thank you. Really love it. We're working on season two right now. 
it's one of those shows, like Jim said, you're kind of checking it out, and you're like, what's this all about? And you find yourself laughing really hard and out loud, and you're like, wow, this is really well done. That fucking spit take in that first episode it just great. made me laugh so hard. You know, I think because it was so re- everything's so organic on that show, don't you think? It looked like it had been swallowed and coughed back up violently. Like, it was yes, just great. It was so- it was swallowed and coughed. <laughs> You've done that, haven't you? Oh, but yes. <laughs> Some embarrassing situations. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Alan. Thank you, buddy. Thanks, boys. All uh, right, we're going to go to Michael in Maryland. Uh, we got Louie Anderson in the studio. Michael, what's going on? Hi. Hey. Uh, hello. Hello, Louie. Uh, hello. Hi. Tim Hi, Michael. Vic and Opie. Um, but I, I originally called because I wanted to know how Louie came up with uh, the character that he plays, like, uh, in baskets, but he kind of already answered that. So oh, okay. It, I just wanted to, to say, uh, this is going to seem really weird, but um, thank you in a weird way for doing this character. Um, this is going to sound really strange, but you remind me of my mom in that show, like from your mannerisms to everything, and she's dead. So whenever I watch you on that show, I feel this odd sense of like comfort watching it. That's and good. I, no, that's nice. I, can't, I can't explain it. but No, it's you like, just did explain it. It was fine. Yeah. And I and you know, I think that's you know I'm doing my mom there too, so mm-hmm. they're maybe they're together wherever they are, talking about what an ass my dad was. <laughs> 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 and, and that's why he's not up here. <laughs> but thank you. That was really that could have been really uh, rough, but that turned out to be a really good thing. Yeah. To Always end with a laugh, right? Always, yeah. yeah. Yes. And then just hang up on this blubbering mess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <sorry. laughs> your dad, your book of your dad. Uh, Thank you, Mike. Was amazing. The, the uh, I'm, I'm dear, dear, dad. dear dad, letters from an adult yeah. child on Kindle. Finally, oh, but, I gotta check it out. Yeah, it's yeah. on Kindle. Uh, I'm an audible uh, guy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Is work. it? It should. I, I you know, I recorded right now. it. I recorded that on, uh, on tape, and that was the hardest thing I ever did. I blubbered halfway through that. I just left it, and I said, leave it. I said, leave this stuff in here. Right. They go, well, can we clean it up a little? And I go, and I think it's okay. And then we really went back and forth on it a lot. But, you know, <clears throat> when I went to my dad's grave, there's a scene where I go to my dad's grave in that. That was in the dead of winter. I got my boots on. I'm reading these letters to my father, and... It was so cathartic and so good for me. And I think subsequently, you know, people have a really hard time forgiving that stuff. But until you do forgive all those people who who you feel have done you wrong, that resentment resides in you. And that's a killer, man. You're, you're not going to. You won't beat the resentment. That'll crush you. That'll always get to you. Yeah, it'll get just, to the end. Yeah, it's just a thick, heavy, awful. Right. You know, yeah. something comfortable about it. Sometimes it's hard to get rid of. Yeah. It's well, really something hard. you know, there's a part of every I think comic that loves you know to lay in at least an inch of <laughs> of resentment. Doesn't it? Yes. So, misery, misery, so resentment. Fuckers. Yeah. Yeah. God, you know damn that. it. God damn it. Wait till they see what they you know, missed. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys want to make sure you always have your toes in it. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. A little resentment around, right? A little resentment. It feels healthy. Well, somebody sense. told me the greatest thing once uh, about um, laying in. You know, I said sometimes I feel like I'm laying in a swamp of really rancid water. Mm. You know, I feel really depressed. And the therapist was really good, and she said, you know, it's only a about six inches deep, you could get up anytime you want. <laughs> That's right. Oh, gee, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Do I need to hear that? Do I want to get up? You know, I was really comfortable laying in sure. this. What's wrong with you? And then from then on, I haven't been as full of self pity as I used to be. Right. Because you know, you once you're uh, once you which once it's illuminated. And you realize that you're the participant in it. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's something really like, well, freeing like, about that. Yeah, you got to just stop it. You know, don't you? Right. It's really pathetic. I'm with you. It? You got to try. It's like yeah. blaming the crowd, right? That your show's no good. 
Yeah. Somebody once said, I heard a comedian say that one time, never blame the crowd, even though it's always their fault. <laughs> <laughs> you I don't know. That. That's, that's wonderful. wonderful. That's, I heard that, that years ago. Wonderful. That's such a great line. <laughs> that's the best. Yeah, but I wish I could cre- take credit for it. Whoever said that that's was brilliant. So good. Yeah. And, uh, and your brother passed away. Was he yeah. in his sleep? Was it uh, The first thing I thought when I read that was uh. his sleep apnea. You know, um, Tommy, it was rough. Monday, the 22nd of February, I went oh, after my sister died. I've lost several siblings. And after my sister died, I said, I'm never going to go home without having lunch or seeing, you know, my brothers and sisters. So Monday, I was, Sunday, I did a show, a corporate show. Monday, we had lunch at Applebee's because the place we used to go closed down, which I thought was ironic. And um, so Tommy and I went, my baby brother, and, you know, I I picked him up. We went over there. We ate lunch. He didn't look great, but he often didn't look great because he didn't take care of himself like none of us do in our family. But, you know, I hugged him and kissed him. He hugged me, kissed me, said he loved me. And I flew to New York. I had a gig in New York. I mean, in, um, not in New York. I'm in New York now. In Florida. And had dinner with some friends and watched a movie. And I got out of the movie. And there were messages from all my brothers and sisters except Tommy. Ugh. Like those messages where you go, shit. Right. Why are these people calling me in succession? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know, you you know something, yeah. something's wrong. I called my sister Lisa and she goes, Tommy's dead. And I cried for like till now. You know, you're you're always uh, just you know a second from from breaking down. Yeah. Um, you know about it, but thank God for Monday. Right. Yeah. You yeah, had your last. You were, yeah, sure. Always. Yeah. No, that's beautiful. Yeah. You were happy to have that one last. It's really happy moment with your brother. And then I found out later he was taking uh, his nitroglycerin. He had sleep. He had uh, arrhythmia. And he was told his neighbor he should go to the doctor, but he was taking a lot of nitroglycerin pills, which I looked for desperately. No. Um, (laughs) Just to stock up. He gave me a bottle once, and I carry it with me. It's the funniest little thing. It's a tiny little bottle. I don't do any of those drugs, but I said, oh, this is a a constant reminder of my brother. And I have his shoes on. I took his, oh, wow. I gave him these boots for Christmas. <laughs> They're nice. That's totally cool. I, I said, I'm going to really take good. these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's no, nice I, to have a last mi- It's weird, like, whenever you never know when you're going to see someone for the last time, so it always sucks if it's a weird moment or a bad... Yeah, and it was good. You know, I was going to say, I, you know, I'm his older brother, so I was going to say, Tommy, you're not taking care of yourself. You're not doing enough for yourself. You got to quit smoking. You got to quit doing this stuff. And I said, none of it. Mm. I said, I'm not going to say that stuff to my brother anymore. He knows. Right. I'm not going to try. Yeah. I don't. I'm not his parent. I'm his brother. And it was it was unconditional. How much older are you? I'm just uh, two years old. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, but you can't, you know, when someone's smoking, it's like there's nothing to say that's going to yeah, make them. 11 years now. I, I quit when my last brother was dying. Oh, right. Uh, yeah. Smoke. Yeah. I used to <clears throat> smoke, you know, but not for, you know, I, I smoked. I smoked a hard 20 years of smoking, you know, where I just smoked all the time, you know, because I'm a compulsive person. But yeah. I was with my brother, and he was smoking, and he was on oxygen, and I said, I, you know, I, luckily I did a lot of therapy in my life. So I had a, a, some clarity, and I said, well, you know, it's just me in 10 years. That's just me right. replacing, you know, changing, you know, places with them, but... You Man. can't stop, and I, you know I have another brother and a sister who smoke, and I can't, I can't talk to, I don't even talk to him about it because, well, I did, I did talk to him the other day when I saw him. I go, Jim, I was just with me, my sister and him, and I said, Jim, what do, you, what are you doing? What can I do? What can I do to convince you to quit smoking? Is there money? Is it a money thing? <laughs> I can't give you the seventy-two million. But, I, but is there? Is yeah. there a money thing? Is there sure. a gift? Is there something? 
is it worth it for you to stay around and be with us? Because that's what I come down to. Yeah. Is it worth it? It's really funny because, you know, I have a, a weight problem and I'm always working on it. And I've been thinking lately of having this surgery. And I go, because I'm probably not going to do it on my own unless somebody stands with me all day long and puts down food that's healthy and good for me. I'm probably not going to, because I'm, look at it, I had a, I had a blue, blue cheeseburger. cheeseburger. Is the road night. harder for you? I mean, personally, for me on the road, it's uh, the much food, harder. The yeah. food is. That's but, I'm, you know, the, I love the road, but it is. It's really hard, isn't it? Because you don't if have your I, own stuff there. If I, yes, and I bring a suitcase full of weird things I put around the room. Did yeah. you ever do that? Um, no, I travel with carry-on. What, what kind of weird stuff, though? You know, like, I have a pillow that I put in the top of the bag that I sleep with. Oh, okay. Well, that's not pillow. weird. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't mean, I mean... But just stuff that reminds you of home. You should, Makes yeah. it a little more homey. Just that's my, that I, yeah. And, right. I, and I have a whole, look at, I got something that my brother Tommy gave me. It's in my pocket. Like he he said, these little things here. The little, uh, what are they? The little paper? They're little illuminated little? things so you can find stuff at night when you get up. Like if you're looking for something, it'll light you up. And I just laughed. I just went, Tommy, you're so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> So he goes, you know what? You're going to use them. <laughs> and I, I would say they look very practical. What a practical it gift that is. Yeah. Very practical. Yeah. And he, and he just, he was that kind of kid. He was a great kid. How many, how many are you? How many there kids? There were 11. There's four. You're one of 11? Yeah. I didn't know that. I knew I you know, came yeah, from I a big family. I didn't know it was 11. Too. Wow. What were the ages from, you know, the age difference, I should say? 20 years. 20 years. Yeah. Wow. So you're thinking of surgery. I'm thinking about having that sleeve. I went and talked yeah. to the doctor. And, you know, if you listen to him too closely, you won't have it. Why? It's frightening. Well, just because they say, you know, basically we're going to slice your stomach in half. And I go, <sighs> oh, if you could only really do that. <laughs> yeah. You could just cut the front of my stomach off. And that. But, I mean, they're going to do that. And then they do this thing. I've met a few people who've had it. They cut the gremlins, they're called which are the hormones that I think, I'm, you know, I'm guessing at all this stuff. But this is what I remember. He says, we cut the part of your stomach that has gremlins in it, and the gremlins are the things at night that make you hungry. I go, I knew it was something. <laughs> I knew it wasn't yeah. me. It sounds yeah. like gremlins. Yes, yeah. it, it sounds does. like gremlins. Howie evil. Mandel <laughs> is sitting. <laughs> <laughs> Gizmo. Gizmo. Gizmo is living inside you. So I looked at it, and I've lost 11 pounds because I have a 2,100-calorie uh, resting metabolic rate. What's that mean? I don't know what that means. It means I burn 2,100 calories laying on the bed. Wow. Doing nothing. Really? Yeah. And so I've been eating 1,800 calories by noon. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually ate today's last night <laughs> with, the with the blue cheeseburger. Yeah. You know, it's one of those things where uh, I'm a buddy of mine, Paul, uh, on, uh, on, on uh, Facebook, he's been like doing his weight thing. He had the stomach yeah. thing. And he lost uh, almost 100 pounds. And almost got... everybody loses that 100, 150 pounds. And when you're 400 pounds, you are hard to lift. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> What's that scene in Bass? No. <laughs> you are, you, well, I noticed how, I noticed that there were things that I did in baskets where I went, that was really hard getting up those stairs and making really? it look like I could do it. Huh. And I think it was great that Jonathan left that in there to show how sure like the character big people really sure you know around. have difficulty moving around. But so I just looked at it as this: that hundred pounds would be like a nice jump start. You know, it would give me the because I I like being active. Believe it or not, I I'm you know I would ride bikes and do all that stuff. But you know, it's very difficult to do a. To find a bike that's 400 pound friendly. I saw yeah. you tweet a picture of you on a bike. On a recumbent day. bike, yeah. yeah. I, can, I can ride one of those, that's and a, I rode that. was fantastic. That looked uh, pretty cool. I, I, yeah. I think I want one oh, of those. Right, right, right. When yeah. I, I do loops in Central Park, and you see a few of these. Yeah, and, they're good, aren't they? they? they I, people seem to really enjoy them. I've seen I, those. And guys. you're getting some exercise. Yeah, I've, I've seen, seen I, those. Guys. I found out about them with the Wounded Warrior thing. I was going to do a ride to recover because that's a big thing. There's a big program in Minnesota, and I was going to do it with it. But I am down there. I'm in Florida right there. 
they have a Pinellas Trail that you can ride, and I made it all the way there and back, so I was really thrilled. That looks awesome. That looks really fun. Yeah. Everyone it's much was... harder than you think. But yeah, yeah, I'm good. sure, yeah. And that's like a 15 speed, which I, oh, wow. I don't wow. th- I, that I don't know any technical stuff on any of that. Right. And anyone who's ever done the surgery and stuff that I've met, they're so happy they did. And there's not, I've lost some, but not like, it was just, you know, over the process of time. And yeah, when you you've start, lost a lot of weight, though, haven't you? Probably. Aren't I would you s- another, like, how much more? I would 30? S- more than that at one point. Yeah. I mean, yeah. 40 over a few yeah. years ago. And then yeah. you peak, and then you're lower, than you peak. But like, oh, throwing clothes out is the best feeling ever. Oh, you're yeah. fucking like, I'm done with this. And Never again, right? No, and you don't give yourself the size to get back into. Like I don't, I don't leave the size. Oh, that's really smart. Yeah. So if like if I if I if I put weight back on, well, fuck me, I'm gonna feel it as soon because I can't just jump back up in, in a shirt size. But you you know you get addicted to the compliments. Hey, you lost a few pounds. Yeah. And that fuels you to do more. And what do you think? Like you know when you're saying this, you know it's really interesting because I think it's important. When you say. Um, because you, you know, because you learn to become that person who's heavier, and me, I built kind of a show around it, so I have to dismantle a part of my personality. You know, I really do. I mean, you know, I do a, I do some killer stuff. Like, you know, like I do a thing on the sizes of shirts. Why? Why are they X's? Why not pictures of mammals? <laughs> Why not? You know? Hey, do you have this in a, hey, do you have this in a sloth? <laughs> or a wildebeest? Do you have, hey, can I wear sloths and wildebeest together? Because that's what... Why not be literal about it? <laughs> hey, what are you down to? A small buffalo? Yeah? Bison. I call it a Bison. <laughs> I think you just going through the process, you'll come up with new material about losing weight. That'll no, be just as funny. Yeah. I'm sure I will. I, I have no doubt that no, someone I'm like not you worried. would do that. No, no, I'm not worried about the material. Okay. I'm just saying that I think you become a, you, this becomes a, a person. It's a way, I think, personally, I think it's the way we convince ourselves to stay unhealthy. Like, because that part of me, like when That's I was qu- good. quitting That's smoking, good. I think Colin said it to me. You convince yourself that the cigarettes are a part of who you are mm-hmm. and that you're giving up a part of yourself. But it's just getting rid of something that's external that that's I've true. made a part of my, you know. But, yeah, it's it's weird, these things I associate with being Jim Norton. And it's like, oh, if I lose that, I'm losing a big piece of my act like with my perversion or all this stuff. Like, yeah. what do I talk about? Yeah. So there's a lot of stuff in the world. It probably opens you up more because, like, okay, this fucking giant thing that's always with me isn't there. So now that the whole rest of the world I can start focusing on. Do you think, though, because you're exactly right, do you think that you'll, like, you, because, you know, that's a loss, and loss is what we end up dealing with always. It's always about loss. Like, we're all dealing with loss at all times, in my opinion. Like, with my brother, I just cried and cried and cried and cried and still could cry all a thousand more times. So if I do that, where I just keep being emotional about it, that's the secret to the loss. If I hold on to it, that's the blue cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Isn't it? Because that's the comfort I can accept right now because I can't, I don't want to let go. Sure. I don't want to grieve because right. then I'm letting go. I mean, I think it's, I think it's right in there. Mm-hmm. I think that's right in there. Like, I have to conjure up anger towards my father to do the character right on stage because I don't have it. Because you let it right. go. You let it go. Yeah, you him. let it go. Because I see clearly what a great guy he was on another level and what a talented human being he was. So I had to let that go. So the uh, evolution takes time, and, and I think it's all about letting go of this. Can I I got to ask you, so what what do you think about to get the anger up for to do the, the dad bits? Is well, there one thing you go, okay, I'll go to this moment and then I'm I'm ready to do this on stage? And what now I, and what which one is it? If you well, want sh- if you want to share yeah, you, don't I ha- mean, you don't have to. No, I know. It's the you know, I'm always and forever mad at someone. So it's as simple. Like I'll probably put do it about you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and your control <laughs> nature, you know. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but so I mean, I'll be over here yeah, for a little while. No, I'm, I'm going to go get I'm a cup of coffee. Yeah, so I'm you just teasing. get the fire smoldering with something, and then the voice is a little easier. And with to... Christine, I get into the fact that my mom never, like, if she was nice, but it was there was a catch. Could you run over and just pick up? Mm. this thing for me and then when you're on your way there or there you got the second call as long as you're in that area <laughs> could you also pick me up some sea salt that my friend <laughs> has gotten for me when they were at the sea <laughs> you know what I mean yeah. and then it was just like and then as long as you're coming back by Apple Bombs which is a grocery store would you mind pay, going in and getting some Chuck steak? <laughs> yes, I would mind. I would, I would mind all that. I am not getting the salt. I'm not getting the Chuck steak. And I'm not even going on your first yeah. errand. Yeah. <laughs> so that's where Christine comes from. Sure. This is my mother. That's my mom, too. Yeah. Uh, that's a lot that's, of moms. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know? hell, oh, yeah. hell yeah. You're nailing yeah. a lot of our moms yeah, yeah, with yeah, that yeah, character. Yeah. Well, you know, we owe our moms because they bore us. And so we're, con we're completely tied to them mm -hmm. in fact i never even knew death was real until my mom died i never even took it myself as a there was mortality mm -hmm. i never thought i could ever die until that very moment then i went oh my god i could die when did she die 1990 oh okay yeah. So she saw you have some success. Yeah, yeah. She took her to the White House. Yeah. Oh, she did. Right, right, right. Yeah. She did get to see a lot of the success. But you know, isn't it funny with your parents? They don't ever think you're successful till their friends bring it up. Yeah. Uh, sure. Know, like, yeah, yeah. Hey, Janet called <laughs> and said you were, you're just terrific on the Tonight Show. Yeah. Yeah, I what? am terrific. On this. <laughs> what I, I, you know I'm terrific. Yes, I know. But Janet called me, and no, then I impressed. thought, "Oh my God, <laughs> Janet hates everything." <laughs> then they see you on HBO doing a Janet's a cunt bit. <laughs> <laughs> She didn't like that. <laughs> that Jim Norton kid, he's got a sweet face, but he's he's misguided. Really. He's mad. And ask him who he's mad at. I just like to know. Ask him exactly who he's mad at. He's mad at you, mother. He's been mad at you for years. Oh God. When you when you took her to the White House, did she do the mom thing? Did she was there that like you talked about was she yeah. when she's like she's like this is awesome and then kind of I was threw sometimes not nice to my mom and I regret that. Oh sure. We you all know, do. We all just, do. Because they, they, you think they're going to embarrass you. But really, you're embarrassed by you. Yep. And you ah. put it on your parents. But my mom was funny. She goes, take a picture of me by Nixon. <laughs> and I go, Mom, he's a... Republican. Oh, I just like the. I like Nixon. <laughs> I go, Mom, why do you. I don't know. He seemed like your father. And I go, Yes, you're right. And my dad hated Nixon. And then, then she go, You know, she was just a lovely, funny, funny lady. She was so. That funny. is crazy. You would have really loved her. Where'd you I'm see sure. Nixon? There? There's a fo no a portrait. There's oh, a portrait. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Nixon oh. was nowhere near the White House then. <laughs> no. Was he? He was still alive, though. Oh, he was he alive. Was, he was yeah. a long yeah. time. Yeah. Uh, we got a guy that uh, wants to tell you about the sleeve. He says, "Don't get the sleeve." You oh, want, you want want this call? Why not? All right, you let's can't do convince it. me of anything. Okay, Jay, why 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 Jay not the sleeve? Leno, thank you, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> what? We've been no, wondering. Was, Go ahead. I was five twenty. Now I'm three twenty. Nice the sleeve. What happens is all they do is they make your stomach smaller, but your absorption rate is a lot different with the gastric bypass. You're not mm. absorbing. Uh, everything there. So what happens is it's, you're just making your stomach smaller. That's that your absorption rate is the same no matter what. If you get the gastric bypass, your absorption rate is different. So you're not absorbing all that other stuff. So it just goes through your body. So well, you what did you out. get? Gastric bypass. Ah, well, that's a that's a that's the severest one, right? Yeah, and um, they yeah, actually for, don't they just bypass your stomach? Well, your, your stomach is a little bit smaller. And, and and what happens is they take part of your small intestine. And they're not you're not using it, so that's why you're, you're not it. using it. Who's using it? Up there? <laughs> <laughs> why it's in? Well, there? I mean, it goes from twenty five feet to like fifteen, twenty feet. So you're not absorbing those first that first amount. So the, of you're not absorbing the first amount of all those fats and things, right? Right, right, right. And you know what? And to tell you the truth, the first week was a bitch, but after that. 
you know, I, I'm I'm so glad I did it. And you got a little bit of the skin, but you know, who you who you who you were impressing. Well, you know, if I ever did that and I had all that skin, I'd make a little me. <laughs> Just to creep people well, out. Who they is got that? Nice That's me start. right there. Louis, Louis 1.5. <laughs> they got surgery for that, too, though. Yeah. yeah. They cut down yeah. the skin. We've well, had thank a, you so much. We've known a few guys that have gotten the, uh, the surgeries. Yeah. Hard Rock Johnny. He just texted me. Hard did he Rock. get the sleeve? I don't, I, this he, he this guy to, looks amazing. So whatever he did, I, I don't know. He talked Lisa Lampanelli through hers though. So he said if you want his number, and how's Lisa? You. Is she good? She looks great. <clears throat> yeah, Isn't she's she really amazing? good. Yeah, like a, and she reinvented herself then, right? A different person. Yeah, you know, on stage though. I mean, I haven't seen her on stage. Yeah, I wonder about that. Yeah, because you know she was. Uh, is she getting away with the same stuff, or is she thinking the same? You know, I always wonder that stuff. Do you get but, afraid that if you do it, it's going to be hard? Because like, oh, I'm still no. this addictive person. Yeah, yeah. You, and then, then if I remove the ability to do what I want to do, and now I'm kind of screwed. Uh, you know, the thing is, is that now I really think in my life, and then when you lose your, you know, your baby brother, you just, you're, you know, I, I'm still speaking from that loss quotient. I have, everything's different now. I doubt that I'll be the same because this was the sibling I was the closest to. This is like a best friend sibling where you talk to him all the time and all that stuff. So I am reevaluating everything. Like what's really important to me? Mm -hmm. You know, like I see these guys, these cowards who blew up those innocent people and I think, what? What are we doing? What am what is going on now? What's what's it all about? And I start thinking in those things. So I don't know if that's temporary, you know. If I do it, maybe I should do a regular show like this cuz this is like if you're going to do something, this is a good job for people to have. You come here, you have a real purpose cuz I think people who are addictive of things have, should have purpose. Because I think they're bad on their own. Right. They can only end up in a corner, you know, at a bakery or, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. So I think I think that it's really important to have a real purpose. So I'm really glad I have baskets and I'm working with all these creative people. I'm working on the idea of producing a brand new animated show. Nice. In, uh, thinking about something really different there. I've always wanted to do a one hour drama. Um, because, about what? Have you thought of it? I probably would do it about the way I grew up in my family, mm -hmm. but you know the other side of that, where I made everything, I made everything palatable. I would make it a lot less palatable mm -hmm. in the real, real the situation. Yeah, yeah. I mean, real. Yeah, right. You know, because I always say, write what you know, because right. I don't think if you don't, I don't think people know. I I think you have to know what you're doing. I've only been successful with stuff that I have experienced. I haven't been, you know, like, hey, here's a abstract right. idea. But that makes sense, though, you know? right? Yeah, and so it's those right. are the kind of things that I'm really interested in. And, um, and you know, I just think what really matters is, is the same thing. You know, what I've always said in my act is, right from the beginning is, you know, don't hold your parents accountable for all the stuff they did. Try to work towards forgiveness. Be nice to the, your brothers and sisters. And, you know, my thing's always been about love. And so it'll go back to that love thing. And, you know, so I don't know. I, don't, I think if I lost all the weight, uh, I don't know that I would reinvent myself as a comic. I might look for something different to do. Yeah, well, the whole process, I'm sure, would just spark it. it just, it's don't like you one, think? Yeah, don't, it's one of those for things. For sure, got to be. Absolutely. Gotta I mean, do you, uh, did you see yourself when you started being on something like this back then? No, and it just happens as it kind of goes. And it was organic, right? Just organic. With you, what, didn't it just happen like you started doing the show and then you were part of the show? Yeah, then just start coming in. Opie's like, come yeah. in some more. Come in some yeah. It was just no, one they just of started those... dragging me in in the past. Yeah. You know, it's much to the chagrin of a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think in a show like, I mean, I think. Why am I laughing hard? <laughs> uh, I, I think you'll find uh, yourself uh, as you go through the journey. Yeah. And then maybe you decide, no, I, I do want to do more uh, stand up. Yeah. I tell you what's really important in my message is who have you not called that you should have or you should call right now? I'm, I'm telling people that. Mm. 
That was, was J.K. Simmons. Didn't he say when the actor on the with Oscar? He yeah. said, "Call your mom. Call your yeah. mom." He said, "Call your mom." You know, and I, I love that. I thought it was meet, amazing. I meet people who haven't talked to their. They'll say like, "I haven't talked to my sister in seven years." Oh, I God. go, "Let's call him." Yeah, right. I go, "Let's call him yeah. right now," and I, I I ask him if we can call him. And and I call him and yeah. then I go, "Hey, what's going on? Who is this? <laughs> it's Louis Anderson. Why do you have my sister's phone?" Well, I ran into her. She's a big fan of mine, of course. <laughs> um, and she said she hasn't talked to you in seven years. That's right. Well, why is that? This seems crazy to me, you know. Well, it's a personal, it's fam. Well, do you want to talk to her? Well, well, let me talk to her for a second. And I don't know what happens after that. That isn't for me to. Yeah. But, but you've I done just this. Go, I've done it more than once because it is amazing to me. I bet, yeah. That for seven years you haven't talked to somebody. Now, if they did something that really was criminal or yes. beyond mm. that, you still are set with it. Just remember that. It's still in the gut of your stomach. I, I think you're going to have to deal with it one way or another. There's one part of that I don't understand. Yeah. you, you got to stick around and hear the conversation, Louie. You know, <laughs> you know. Even then I'm. Then even I, it's a little rough. You guys. Yeah, but why? Order though? a blue cheese burger. But why? Oh, you mean because I need to? Because it's moderate? fascinating. No, no, not to moderate. No, just because we're all nosy in the no, end. No, no. He uh, just wants to drop the bomb I, of goodness and walk I away. Tell you I'm what, just the saying next that would be time, tough for most humans. But the to, next most time, to I agree. Do. I'm yeah. with you. I would want to hear. But I know what the next part of the conversation is. Yeah, that's. Don't you? Yeah, sure. We all know what it is. You just want it to be perfect, right? And be that hallmark card. But life isn't a Hallmark card. No, not even close. Yeah, it's just a mess usually. <laughs> yeah, that's you know? funny. They're saying you have to go. This sucks. I, well, where are you going? On. Do you know Harvey Weinstein? He and I, I do. He and I, I were very close Harvey. at one point, yeah. and we had a weird falling out, and I haven't talked to him in um, years. He wanted me to play. I was just hoping you'd have his number, and you could put me Is on the that, phone with him. And, <laughs> 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 you self-serving bastard, you, Jimmy. I have, just because I, I, I introduced you to Dice one goddamn time. Oh, he got you. I love he you totally guys. Got he got you. He totally got so you. So you're now Sucker saying, me in there. <laughs> is it official that Baskets is picked up for a second season? Yeah. I, would, I would assume. I mean, yeah. come on. It's a great show. Uh, season finale tomorrow at 10 p.m. on FX. Hey. You can come and watch it with That's me. That's what I was That's getting That's an at. amazing thing, right? Louis Anderson's at Caroline starting tomorrow through Saturday. And if you go Thursday, after you're set, you'll watch uh, Baskets with Louis and Martha. Season yeah. finale. Season, season finale. finale. Yeah. yeah. And we're seeing Martha, we thought in an hour, but apparently it's <laughs> next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. We'll we see her. There's been a booking mistake. And Louis Anderson on Twitter. Yes. And, um, you know, go see Louis live at Caroline's and... Uh, and, and He's just yeah. a great comic. Hey, listen, I would like to sell a lot of tickets at Caroline. So you guys, if you have any pity for me, come down and buy tickets. <laughs> Let's push because it. Because you know what's good? I don't want them to lose any money because I'm going to get paid no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and oh. I don't want them. And also, I am so goddamn good on stage. You're amazing. Go see you have Luke, no yeah. idea. Yeah. I was about to say that. You have yeah. no idea how good I am. How about you come back tomorrow? <laughs> we'll really push this thing. Um, I'm, I'm, I'll try and come back tomorrow in between. Try. If you can. Be, if I can, I definitely will. We would love to right, have I love you, you guys. Uh, this was a, a real thrill. Louis Anderson. And don't forget the podcast every Tuesday. Yes. Right? You can get that yes. through iTunes and Jimmy, all the you usual do places. My podcast. I would love to. Opie. Oh, all right. Thank all you. Right. I was scared you weren't going to add me to that Why list not? of people to do your podcast. All, everybody in this room. What about Vic Henley? <laughs> Vic, yes. I'm leaving it out. All right. I'm always left out. We're going to take a break. Right? Louis Anderson, everyone. Good seeing you, buddy. Tomorrow with Opie and Jam. Opie and Jam after this.